Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another White Fox haul that I'm very excited for because a lot of this stuff is out of my comfort zone. If you watched my last haul, you know that White Fox is one of my favorite brands. They're also Australian. And if you know me, I'm just like obsessed with anything Australia. I swear they have better food, better style, better people, like big fan, big fan. Everything I'm about to show you is from the boutique line, the activewear line, and the swim line. So I have a little bit of everything. A lot of the stuff I chose this time is definitely out of my comfort zone. I chose a lot of like strappy tops that show a lot in dresses that are snug to my body. These are just silhouettes that I never wear. I mean, shit, I'll call myself out. Maybe I just don't have the confidence to wear it. I don't know. I'm definitely like either this cut tank is like the tightest I go or I'm oversized galore. Like that's usually the only two silhouettes I play with. I wanted to challenge myself. So when I picked all these clothes for this haul, I was like, all right, bitch, shut up. You're gonna try something new you could probably relate like do you ever just get so caught in your like you buy the same shit like i buy so many tanks this cut i buy so many big baggy jeans i but like i buy the same thing so i hope this inspires you to get out of your comfort zone this was really fun to do and it actually made me feel like really cute and confident like tonight i'm going to my friend's show and i'm gonna wear one of these little tops i'll show you or i'll point it out when i get to it later i will have everything i try on linked down below i'll have it in order of which everything was tried on so it's easier for you guys to find and if at the end of the video you like something you want to go get it make sure you use my code Chris for 15% off. All right, let's hop into this. This is a lot. Okay, before I get onto the try and haul, I wanted to mention this is probably like one of my favorite tops from my whole haul. And this is the summer sun top. I had a feeling people would be asking. So I just want to let you know. It's like so stretchy and comfortable. It's almost like cheesecloth material, cross knitted like that, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get it started into the haul. The first outfit that I tried on were these like acid washed jeans. These are a size small. The name of these are the moving on boyfriend jeans, which I thought was such a cute name, moving on, but then boyfriend. They have some distress down the leg and I paired it with the true romance crop in the color butter. I don't know why, maybe because it's food related. I was very like attracted to the name. This is so, so stretchy. I wore it on set of the advice season two photo shoot. If you haven't seen that, I will also link that down below. But this was so comfy to just throw on after like getting in and out of like tight dresses all day. I was like, oh, I need to just put on like a comfy tank, comfy leggings. This is a staple. This will be a staple. This is an extra small, by the way. I also mentioned in the last video, like surprisingly their denim is very, like they size it small, medium, large, but it's still very true to size. The next few looks are all the same moving on boyfriend jeans, but I'll show you the tops. The next top is called the for the moment top in color mocha. I got size extra small. I was skeptical about this neckline on myself personally. I never knew if I liked it. I usually just like high neck, but this was very flattering on. So stretchy, so comfortable. It's lined as you can see, which I like because I feel like sometimes dainty tops are just like, hey nipple, like they're just like out there, which I'm all about, but even though I am for free the nipple, you know, sometimes you don't want to free the nipple that day or you're just not feeling like walking into the grocery store just nips out. So I appreciate it, but it was lined. Okay, <laughs> this next top, you're gonna have to see the footage of me trying it on because there's no shot I can hold this up. Just look at just look at me try it on. But this top is called the Clean Slate Crop. It's in white and I have an extra small. I definitely need to like trust this top more. It is a lot sturdier than it looks, than I'm like making it look, but I think I'm just still nervous wearing it because it's so booby. I mean, it's full, just like full chest. So um, to be completely honest, it's not my favorite top on me. I think it would look better with someone with like bigger boobs. Uh, I just don't think I fill it out very well, but I'm gonna have Alex try it on because Alex has bigger boobs and I think it'll look fire on her. Okay, the next top is called the Runway Feature Top and I got this in a small. This is beautiful. I loved how it laid. It's like really thick, so it's not see-through, which is never a problem promise with white, but you could tell it's not see-through at all. It's so soft, so silky, and it's way more giving than you think. The top before I was more scared to wear, this feels so secure on, like it covers all the way back here, so I don't feel like my boobs gonna fall out or anything. I love this. I know I'll wear the shit out of this. I feel like you can wear it super edgy. You can wear it classy. There's so many ways to wear it. Okay, the next top is the runway feature top, but just in the color tie-dye. 
This one's not as silky. This one's a little more textured. I don't know if you can tell. It's still really soft, but it's like, I don't know, it's just a little more textured. I could pair this with so many things. I have a lot of this like burnt orange color in my wardrobe, so I could have made a whole video styling this top, but I paired it with just some simple beige jeans. I think even just a pair of denim shorts, like it's, it's a super casual top. The next top is called the Lifestyle Check Top. Again, this is one of those that I can, I can hold it up to you, but you're gonna have no idea what it looks like until you see the footage of me trying it on. This is so cozy and so secure. Like I feel like the, the strappy top used to be such a scary thing, but I think brands are actually starting to get the functionality of it. So they're cute, but they're also really secure. Whereas I feel like when they first came out, like strappy tops were like, damn, you have a lot of trust in that top. I also got that top in an extra small. I feel like the extra small can also be a small. It's very giving because it wraps around you so many times. Like it, I feel like it, you, you can get either size. Look at this color. This color is called matcha. It's so pretty. Very good quality. So comfortable. Like so, so comfortable. So the top is called the special moment scarf top. You got to look how it looks on my body because right now it's quite literally just a long piece of fabric. Do you guys know any other ways I could tie this? I only know that one way that goes like across like that, but I feel like I could get really creative here. So please link a video down below if you know anybody who's like done a tutorial on it. I could also look it up myself, but any of your faves. And then the skirt is called the mirror image mini skirt. I love the scent right here. I think it's so cute. Like I saw it and I was like, how is that gonna look on my body? And I love how it created like a V. So like your belly button pokes out, but you still have like the high waisted look. It almost gives you that security, like, or not security, but that look when you like pull your bathing suit over your hips. The skirt I got in a small. Next one, this one was definitely out of my comfort zone because it's so tight, but I think it ended up being like one of my favorite pieces. This is called the back of my mind mini dress in blue. I got it in a size small. Thinks I could have done a medium to make it a little bit longer. I thought it'd be cute with just like white sneakers or even white cowboy boots, just hella casual. Like baseball cap, this would be cute for a Dodgers game. I have no plans to go to one, but maybe now I need to make a plan. The next two tops paired with those same jeans are called the About Time Bustier, Bustier, whatever you want to call it. But I got it in white and brown, or the brown's technically called chocolate. I think it's like a perfect corset. I love the back too. There's The strings are so stretchy. It's a corset, but without being like, like uncomfortable you know what I mean? I love these lines too. I feel like the lines with the V give just like your waist a little like, you know what I mean? Really cute though. I styled the brown one a little more like classy and then the white one a little more sporty. For the longest time, corsets were like very nice, but I, I love how now they're played a little more edgy and a little more like casual, almost like a t-shirt or a tank top. Like people just wear it with like baggy jeans and big sneakers. I think it's like the cutest look. So I got my first one or my first two. And I got both of these in an extra small. I think I, I think I could have gotten a small. Oh, I only say that because like when it's on, it's fine as you can see in the videos, but I have, when I take it off, like I have to fully unlace it. Cause honestly, I just have a really big head as you can tell. So like I have to put it on then relace it. Cause I can't pull it over my head. Like pulled over my head. Maybe I just have big shoulders. Cause I can't pull it over my shoulders. I think I have big shoulders and a big head, but a great personality. Okay, so the next top, it was really cute on the model. I don't know if I love it on me. It's comfy as hell though. It's called the Know the Truth Long Sleeve Crop. I just don't think I personally have anything in my wardrobe that goes with it. Only thing I found that kind of went with it was like these little teddy bear jeans that you see in my try on portion. I don't even know if I love that. It's very sporty. I think it'd look good with like big bell bottoms, but like I would want this to be a set. So I wish I had like bell bottoms that were like exactly this material. And I think it'd be perfect. They also have it in black. If I got it in black, I think I could wear the shit out of it. I think I just got a little courageous for the blue for my personal wardrobe, but I love the fit. I think it's so unique. It's like sporty, but edgy. It's fun. I really like it. Okay, so the next one is a little swimsuit. Sorry, Dave. I always feel weird. Like I've, so if you guys don't know, Dave is my editor. Hi, Dave. And we've never actually met, but like he's edited dozens of, or probably like a dozen of my videos now. And like at this point he's literally seen me in a bikini. I guess all you guys have too. Um, my next look is the swimsuit. It's the, this top is the golden hour bikini top. And then these are the Cali bottoms. I didn't show much of my backside because these are tiny. They're cute though. Like I'll wear them, you know, out in front of my girlfriends. Like I don't give a damn. And I think these are really good for tan lines. Cause like you could 
hand the buns, toast the buns, but I love this. These fit so well. I got these bottoms in a small. I usually get bottoms in a medium because my bottom is a little bit bigger than my top. I get, this is a small. This is a small too, but I think they were out of mediums or something. And the small actually worked. Size down, I think. I think sizing down is good. Okay, next look is also a bikini. This one I also paired with a little scarf top. This is called, I think it's called like the zebra scarf crop top or something. It's advertised as a top. I just, I was trying to figure out how to tie it because it was too small to do this thing, but then it's also like too big in the front to do like the triangle thing that I like usually do. So I was like, okay, let me just make it like a sarong for the bottom. The seaside soiree, soiree, soiree seaside soiree, size small. I love this. So this is probably my favorite swimsuit right now. I love how it crosses around my waist. I feel like it gives kind of the illusion that the green skirt gives, like it contours you in a certain way. And then it just came with a basic bottom. Look at it, it's like sparkly. I like it with the zebra too. I think I, I said in like a past video or a few past videos, animal print to me is neutral. So I feel like this could go with any swimsuit and be neutral. I love it with the red though, it stays. Bunky. Okay, the next look is from their activewear line. Their activewear is my number one favorite activewear ever. I don't like run or anything, so I don't know if like it would be different for that type of performance, but for the type of working out I do, it's perfect. I do Pilates, hiking, like I guess low impact things, but this is the Moving Up Sports Bra and Snake Print. I love it. It has the little bunchy thing in the front. I just I love this. Whoever the designer was at White Fox that did this and is doing it on everything, I love it. I'm here for it. And then I paired it with its matching bottoms. They are the This Is Now bike shorts and it has that same thing in the front. So you feel so cute while you're working out. And I'm a firm believer. And if you like, if you like your workout clothes and you feel confident in your workout clothes, you're going to feel way more confident working out and you're going to get a better workout, like snowball effect. So love that. going to wear the shit out of that. The next set I got, I love this. This isn't out of my comfort zone. This is very much on brand for me. Last minute Terry shorts in blue. And then the free fall Terry shirt in blue. Yeah. The bottoms, I got a small, and the top, I got a medium large. I almost wish I even got and large, extra large to make it more oversized. But I love this. It's like terry cloth, for those of you who don't know, is towel material. You can even just see that. So cute. This is like, I could wear this on a yacht. As that was coming out of my mouth, I'm like, bitch, when do, when do you ever go on a fucking yacht? But I, if I go on a yacht, I can wear this. This is a cute thing to layer with a bathing suit because it is terry cloth, or I just wear this out. Like I would wear this day drinking with like big white sneakers and like a Von Dutch hat or something. This is so cute. Mm, 10 out of 10, love this look. Last but not least, this dress is probably my new favorite dress ever. I really didn't think I was gonna like it when I put it on, but I tried it on the first time on set at that advice shoot. And I was like, all right, let's just see how this looks on camera. And oh baby, it looks so good on camera. It looks so good on person. It's so comfortable, such good quality. It's like thick, it's nice, it's soft. The color is serving Tinkerbell vibes. Might be her for Halloween, might wear the shit out of this. It's my new favorite dress. The back, it like crisscrosses, so cute. The slouchy front, I was totally growing on me. I got this dress in a size extra small. It's called an obsession and the color is lime. So it's technically a midi dress. I usually would never even go for a midi dress because I'm, I'm really short. Like honestly, my torso is like the same length as my legs. Like it's, I have very weird proportions. Like I look tall, but I'm like not that tall. Um, I wouldn't go for a midi dress, but I love how this fits on me. I paired it with just a simple white boot. Very like spring and cute. I think it'd look cute with those cowboy boots. It'd look fire too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That that was like, I felt like I just did a school presentation. That was a lot of mental work for me. But um, I think the official look for tonight is going to be this white bustier top up with these cute little shroom pants and just like big white sneakers. I feel like it's a, that's a good like show outfit. I hope this video encourages you guys to shop out of your comfort zone because I'm so glad I did. I found so many new of my favorite pieces that I naturally would have never gone for if I didn't force myself. So let me know what your favorite looks are. Also, please let me know how to tie that top in different ways because I know there's so many cuter ways I could do that. And if you like anything, I will have everything linked down below and make sure you use code Kristen for 15% off. I also don't get anything from that code. I don't want you guys to think I'm like trying to make a book off you, but uh, it's there. 
if you want it. I will also link down below the behind the scenes photo shoot of the Advice season two photo shoot we did with Black Prince, at Black Prince on Instagram, one of like the best photographers in LA. Her name's Nezrin. She's an angel. I love her to death. I guess podcast update too, if you don't already know by the time this is out, August 2nd is the official first day that we're releasing episode one of season two. We're back. I'm so, oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. We are already pre-recorded three episodes in and they are fire episodes. So get ready, get excited. Everything will link, be linked down below. Um, make sure you turn on your notifications and thank you so much for watching. Also, thanks White Fox. Love you guys. I love you guys too. You guys and White Fox. All right, peace out. Bye. <laughs>